Um, I sent the text to Nega. I said he's supposed to be back on. So I guess, is that, uh, see, Tarhaka's iPhone, is that Tarhaka? Yeah, that's me. That's me. It's not. Rawa, Ucha. Um, okay, I'm just waiting for your camera to come on, and then we can, I'm uh, willing to hear any questions and all questions that you got. Oh, no, I don't have any questions. Uh, I have a statement to make. Sure, go ahead. There was there was a uh, a statement that you made that you actually owned the Morris Science Temples of America. Yeah, that's you like a great. Expound, you like to expound upon that? How is that so? Pardon? I said, how is that so? Okay, uh, I'm going to put this on the screen. Let's see which one. Uh... So how can you, you tag me on, on my Facebook page? So I'll just go to the Facebook here and I will show that. Uh, okay, there we go. Well, while you're doing that, uh, once you show that, uh, why is it so many Morris Science Temple of America in operation while you own the Morris Science Temples of America? Say that again, please. Why is it so many branches of the yes. Morris Science Temple of America operating, but you own the Morris Science Temple of America? How'd that work? Okay, great. Great question. Uh, let's see here. I want to show, let me see. I'll just open up another tab here. Good. And so first thing is, you are familiar with, now, it's, I conditionally accept this, um, what was been coming from the original Moorish science Temple before it broke up into a thousand different splinter groups. You have Moorish Holy Temple of Science, Temple 13, Temple 1, etc. So I'm sure you're familiar with all of that. So I'm sure you're familiar with all that. So the issue was a what happened in 1928 and I'm certain that you are familiar with that as well. It has not been confirmed. It has been alleged that the Prophet Nobu Jurali went to a Havana conference in Cuba. Now I've verified. I, I've been, actually, I can, I can confirm that for you if you need me to. Yes, please do. I got. I can't do it right. I'm in the car right now, so I can't do it at this moment. But that's easy to confirm. No, I'll just take the oral confirmation. That's that's oh, acceptable. Oh, oh, that's we, acceptable we actually, to me. We, okay, okay. I actually have the 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 document of his travel um, itinerary as well as his ticket to Cuba. I actually have it. Great. So that's something that should be given full knowledge to everybody that that was in 1928 in Havana, Cuba. Um, I validated that the secretary at the time, which was Hughes, was present, that that meeting did occur. Now, the particulars of what was discussed, I'm not aware of that. I haven't seen anybody publish specifically what was discussed. However, what has Brother, been, we're filibustering now. What are you, I'm asking you how you... Uh, I'm answering you your question. I'm, I'm answering your question because there's other people here who are not familiar with the Moore Science Temple. This is what I was telling about the brother, man. This is going to so, take so long, bro. I don't have a bunch of time for filibuster. Straight to the point. This isn't a filibuster. Okay, I'm putting it right on the screen here. Here's the lean. Now, 1928, uh, it was alleged that the Prophet Noble Drali claimed all the land from Alaska to Argentina and over to Europe. Is that correct? Is that not That's the false. case? That's false. So he never so he never got the land back. That's false. Okay, so the prophet so the prophet Noble Drelli never got the land back, didn't have a claim, to me. didn't have no okay. state trust, no nothing. Let, let, me, let me say this to you. Just like I say I can prove that he went to Cuba, I need you to prove to me that the prophet uh, uh, got this land the way that you're saying it. Show me something. No, I'm I'm quoting what the Moors say. No, no, don't quote. I'm now don't quote what Moors say. We ain't gonna get to that. I'm telling you, no, that you, I can't, can't, you can't. You can't. Anything you that can't. I say, I can I'm, prove. Okay, that's I'm, fair I'm, enough. That's fair enough. Now, most Moors will use this document we're here. We're not talking about most Moors. Stop. I'm stop, speaking. Stop. What is the problem here? I want your here? position. I want your position. We're not I'm talking just, about and most I'm explaining Moors. it. 
Most Moors have the position of Noble Drawley established the very first temple in Cook County, Illinois. True or false? What does that <laughs> Come on, that brother. has everything to do with what I'm explaining to you. They use this document here as a foundation for every temple that's out there. You first asked me why are there a thousand temples and you own them. I said, Absolutely. first of all, I put a claim on this document that the Prophet Noble Ali did, because this is my post okay. stamp here. So right. the point of the matter was if everybody or the Moors and specifically the Moorish Americans say that you are what your forefathers were, the Prophet got the land back, etc. I said, fine. Now, in this day and time, there's no uh, toxin, moor, what have you, that has any type of a commercial claim that is what you would call either mainstream or has been put into the commercial record, except myself. So I said, well, by me doing this and exporting the United States, Canada, and Mexico on an export declaration, which I'll show you on another uh, website, I already have the tab open, that by default means if the Moors are claiming that the constitution is still valid, that it is still something that can be used as a remedy for any and all of their affairs, then by default, they are in the Atlantic Ocean because they're contracting with a corporation because everything, as you probably know, has been changed from 1938, it's all administrative. There's no courts, the constitution can't be used in a court and there is no more that has shown me where they've used Circle 7, Clock of Destiny, or any of those documents and want a state, local, federal, family, or a Supreme Court case using that. So on that basis and ignoring the fact that they're doing commerce, I have came forward. I did the claim. This is years ago. This is 2014. And so all the temples that are saying they're Moore Science Temple are actually on Dun & Bradstreet. And anybody can go on Dun & Bradstreet and see all the temples. Even Great Seal is on Dun & Bradstreet. Dun & Bradstreet is a bond rating agency dealing in commerce. So how are they going to talk about the pyramid on the back of the $1 bill being oh property my God, of the brother. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. I let you, I allowed you to speak. Let's be, let's be, you know, as you would say, civil. Let, we want it. We want to talk about this. Let's talk. So I speak when I'm finished. You speak. I'm going to hear you out. Did he, did he just hang up? Okay. All right. So he's still there. He's still there. Okay, great. So to say that the Moors are claiming the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill is our pyramid, as they like to say, there's a problem now because that's not an actual pyramid with a capstone sitting on it. Number one, number two, as I'm sure you are well aware, this is Federal Reserve note. This is a private Jewish bank which is issuing this fiat. So by default, any Moor collecting or accepting these that is not a creditor, not a secure party, not a lien holder, not a claimant, they are actually chattel because they are not using anything that's of a commercial nature to distinguish themselves what's on paper, what they're doing in commerce versus the flesh and blood. So because of the export declaration that I did back on March 17, 2008, and the Foreign Bureau Processing Unit, which you might not be aware of, called me and asked me, why did you send all these additional documents? I said, because I have to show title. And you can't just drop a piece of paper and say, I own this. You have to have the evidence. I'm sure you're well aware of. So I presented that to them. I said, so is there any problem? They said, no. I said, so you're going to process it? They said, yes, we're going to process it. And for you to know, because you're up there on uh, Poops Katuk uh, territory there, which is what they call Brooklyn, um, they stated uh, Africa Bambata, I have a witness that's on here. She used to have a table on 125th Street. And Africa Bambata knew about the lien that I put on the White House. Dr. Elihu Pleasant Bay knows about the lien I put on the White House and I spoke with them on the phone. So the issue is when Moors would like to invoke the prophet Noble Ali and say, or quote him, he made the statement that he said, it's gonna take you Moors 50 years to figure out what I've done. So if you're saying that the prophet Noble Ali did not get the land back, I'll accept that for value and consideration. 
putting that in everything into perspective, the Moors are doing commerce. I am dealing in commerce and have commercial liens filed against the United States, the Pentagon, et cetera. So by default, and I don't have that physical possession, the claims are out there, they're published, they're in the commercial record. All the Moors that are saying that they are Moors using the constitution as their foundation or the, and or the circle seven, they have to talk to me, period. That's not subject to debate because this has been out for more than 10 years. My claims have been out. So that, there's the answer to your question. So I'm all ears. No, do you got to turn your mic on? First of all, you know and I know nobody is talking to you. Nobody is reaching out to you. Matter of fact, you, you, you're rather insignificant. Let's start with uh, item one. I'll accept that for value and consideration with full reservation of my talk to rights eternally. Item one, you say you put a lien on the White House. Now, yeah. if I put a lien on something, I mm -hmm. begin to move towards possession. So you have a lien on land, you have a lien on White House, when will you move towards possession? You also have a lien on, you say, the Morris Science Temple of America by the document 10105905. In fact, that's just a piece of paper. Let me tell you why that's a piece of paper. I've been to Cook County, been there quite a few times. I, I got document 10105904, I got 1010 document 5905, and I got 10 doc. 10, 10, 5, 9, 0, 6. That is just the filing number. There is no power in that paper. So what you did was you claimed power of the paper. That's That comes from the old seal that gives the illusion that this paper has some power. That paper is not the Morris Science Temple of America. And many people that think that is a, 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 a piece of gold, they only have a piece of paper with a filing number. 1010-5905 is a filing number. I have 1010-5904. Somebody else filed a paper in Cook County, and it's another business. 1010-5905 is a religious corporation affidavit document that's filed by Prophet Noble Drew Ali. 1010-5906 is another uh, corporation document filed by somebody else. And so, as, the, as, as it goes, if you file after 5906, your number will be 5907. The next will be 5908 on and on and on. There is no power in that affidavit. Now, again, to prove your point, you would have to, if you filed the lien in 2008, and we're in 2020, we're going to 2020 in a week from now, and you haven't gotten possession of your lien, then how, how powerful is your lien? Your lien is worthless. And you know it and I know it. I don't know why you claim that you own the Morris Science Temple of America, yet you still have people running around here claiming to be the Morris Science Temple of America, and you have not given a cease and desist order. You know why you have it? Because they're going to ignore you. They're not going to pay you no mind. I have a few temples, and I am a grand sheep of the Morris Science Temple of America. I want you to shut me down ASAP. My address is 638 North Fulton Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21217. I ask you to shut me down ASAP. I'm talking about, I don't know how long it's going to take you, but if you are the owner, then you need to shut me down in every other Morris Science Temple of America. Brother, you're lying. You're, you're lying and you're phony, and I'm telling you right now, you cannot shut nobody down. Let me tell you something. The Morris Science Temple of America operates under the Religious Act of Cook County. In, in America, there's something that is called religious freedom. Anybody can practice the religion of Islamism under the name of the Morris Science Temple of America. And there's nothing that you can do or anybody else can do. That's why they keep on operating, because you're living in a fantasy world. And, and, and this, is a, this is a grave negligence on your part. You say that, okay, you own, we are in the Atlantic Ocean. You own Turtle Island. That doesn't even make sense. How are you going to say you own something that you haven't possessed? You don't possess it. You have, when you own something, you possess it. You're in Canada claiming you own something in the United States. Brother, you're not making a lot of sense. And anybody that followed that and listened to this <laughs> is wasting that time. Listen, from 2008 to 2020, what have you possessed? Forget the lean. What have you possessed? Because everybody in this chat, they should ask you to show and prove what you have possessed. 
not what you put a lien on, because I can file a lien right now on every house in Baltimore, New York, or anywhere else. Until I possess it, that lien is worthless. So I'm asking you, what do you possess? UCC-105, UCC-9-607, UCC-9-609, UCC-8-505. UCC 9-607, which deals with secure parties, I don't have to have physical possession in order to have ownership. There is a, there is a UN convention on consular relations that we have a representative in our nation that is an ambassador in New York, as they call it, and they already, the NYPD already know that they can't go up into his apartment because it falls under international law. <coughs> This is brother. the convention on consular relations. So that's hey, the brother. First, that's the Do first thing. I'm brother. not finished yet. So let come on. Let's let's you've you've made your point. So now you ask me to show. So back in which what was this? 2009. There was a guy up there in your neck of the woods that uh, was with the Moore Science Temple. So he came and asked me for a land pass, which we call it an authenticated export declaration of the U.S. Canada. Canada, Mexico. Now, I agree with you in so far as, yeah, the United States, uh, Cook County, those are pieces of paper. However, people are translating themselves onto that plane of existence. So by default, they're giving their energy into that paper. The next thing is, uh, as I'm having on the uh, screen here, um, this is the, our authority from the one that he got, whichever temple he went to which is not the original one, of course. It's a typed up one that they use for Cook County. Underneath that is the Moore Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws. So one thing which I'm very clear about when I train people about commerce, especially maritime law, which Moore should be doing a much more efficient job of learning, is anything under maritime law that is in an enclosed area is considered a blank piece of paper. So this Moore Science Temple of America, the divine constitution and bylaws is in a box. That means it's a blank piece of paper, which means there's nothing there. And so for all the grand sheiks, adepts, sheikesses, they should show a bit more um, flexibility in realizing the degree to which the Moors have established that. And when I say the Moors, I'm not, extricating myself from that per se, but I'm clarifying that one of the things along with commerce is that the Moors are failing to acknowledge is they also have to deal with language. So again, English is not a new language. English is one of the youngest languages, not the oldest one, that's for certain. And so again, with the Moor or Moor-ish, Science Temple of America, the claim has been put out there. There's a video by the representative Ken Jorsky where he said, someone threw us in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean without a life raft. This was around 2008 when all the housing crisis and all that stuff was going on with the banks flipping. So it doesn't really matter when people say, well, you got to, what do you own? Claims. That's what I have is a claim. It doesn't you know, matter. Can I, can I say it, that? Doesn't, oh, it doesn't brother. matter about Who's going to, well, when are you going to enforce it? I've already done that. This is what I'm showing you. Let me say this in close. The yeah. shame, the shame, the shame of, 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 of this whole dialogue, which I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time, is that, no everybody, that everybody in here is going to, is going to leave here and, and be disillusioned or they're going to wake up. It's only going to go two ways. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali said there's two things in the world and the one is truth and the other is falsehood. So the one that's, that's going to stay disillusioned, they're going to be dwelling in falsehood. The one that's going to wake up, they're going to say, man, this man is out of his God dug on mind. Now, and this is where reality kick in. When they have to go and pay their bills and they use that fake fiat that you're talking about, when you ask for a cash app to pay for any filing that you need, when you when they when they have to go to the doctors and they need to get taken care, you know what I mean? They need to be taken care of. When reality set in, that they, that they don't have no farmland, you know what I'm saying? Which we should be working on instead of being in these chats talking stupid. You know what I mean? When they don't have no farmland, with their children is not growing the vegetables that they eat, so they got to eat this crazy food in the grocery store. When 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 reality kick in, 
you know, after three or four years of listening to this garbage, you know, I hope you're satisfied. Because in reality, we need farmland. We need to be farming our own food. We don't be need hearing this garbage. You know what I mean? We need to be possessing the land, not putting you the land. You can't do it if land. you're black, but you can't do it if you're black. And most Moors have social Listen, security I'm, numbers. What I'm telling you, everybody mm -hmm. in this chat has got to build a pay. Everybody in this chat got to accept that for value and consideration. And all of that nonsense that you're talking is not going to provide for them to pay for the utilities to even listen to you. They're not. It's not going to provide for the cell phone that they use to listen for you. You haven't developed any technology. We need to yes, develop I technology. I developed technology. No, you're on, you're technology. on Zoom. You're on Pardon? Zoom talking crazy. You know, it, and this is wrong with our people. Get you nowhere. They told. They said Jesus this was is what's crazy. Wrong with our people. Muhammad we was sit, crazy. They said, sitting in a corner York with crazy? nothing. They're sitting in a corner with nothing, trying to teach people really? about something that is fictitious and fraud. Are you really? No. Are you serious? Brother, you are out of I order. Nothing. You are out of order. I you have absolutely. You say Brother, I'm you are sitting on nothing. Zoom, and you're going to charge somebody to try to free themselves when who's free charging, come who's off the Who's charging who? Who's charging who? Who? Listen, you're going to charge charging somebody. Who? I guarantee you that somebody in here is going to charge for some form of national type freedom. I guarantee you. We don't they have do national paid. type freedom. That's I the point. It. We don't I, do nationality. That's nonsense. No, I said national that. type freedom. In other words, it's not national type freedom. Either you you're a nation or you're you not. Question. Let me ask you a question. Do you yeah, charge go ahead. for anything? Do you charge for anything? No, because corporations charge. I'm not a corporation, no. and neither I is say, a nation. Have you received? Have you received any compensation of anything? From no, anybody? no compensation. No. no, no compensation. Well, now you're real super crazy because it takes finance to uplift a nation. If you're building something, but you got to have standing. To I agree with you, together. and you got to have standing at law. Most and, and let Moors, me just, hold on. Let me tell you something. Moors, hold on, hold on a second. Most Moors. They have sold, they'll say they're with the Moore Science Temple, Brother, great deal, what you happened. You can't Hold even talk second. about Moore Science because you don't teach nationality. I heard three I don't, people. I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to. So That's right. So I, you I have nothing to do that. with the Moore Science Temple. Oh, I have everything to do with the Moore Science no, Temple, more than you know. More no, you than you know. The Prophet Nobu Ali taught nationality. You have yeah, but that's 1928. That. This is 2019, and the Constitution is void Man, in the listen. courts. Hey, let me say this, and I got to go. I think everybody in here, if they choose to follow this madness, may peace be with all of you who follow it. But I'm telling you, this has nothing to do with Prophet Noble Drew Ali. This if you wasn't about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. This if, was if a question that you posed. If everybody in here think posed. you own Turf Island, if Tarhaka, they own the you, White House, by Tar all means, yeah. yes. Yes. If they think who built Casablanca? Who built Casablanca? Ocean, who built Casablanca in Morocco? Who built Casablanca in Morocco? Okay, you own you own the White House. I no, no, listen. Know. Who built Casablanca in Morocco? Man, we was just learning that in class today, brother. But okay, so <laughs> give the answer. What's the answer? What yeah. is the answer? The same way you're okay. Who built Casablanca in Mor in Morocco? Oh, brother, we know more. Is there what that got to do with okay, you? Okay, who built the White House? What do that got to do with you owning the Can White you House? You answer the question, please. You who are built the White House? Moors did it. Who laid out? Washington, D.C. I'm making a point here. So the Moors built that. Are any Moors in possession of the White House if they built it? Let me, let me explain something to you. No, no, the, answer the question. The no, 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 no. The reason why... So therefore, the, that <laughs> means the Moors if no longer have, have possession of it, correct? The reason why Moors mm -hmm. are not in possession of it is yes. because they built it under coercion. You understand? You know what that means? You know what I mean? They built it no, on you're talking about slaves. There's a difference they, between Moors, Negroes, and slaves. So I say they built, built it on coercion. You know no, what coercion? Built, if Moors built it, then they couldn't have been slaves. No, I said under coercion. You don't know the difference between coercion and slave, and y'all listening to this fool. I, I know what I coercion, coercion is. Coercion <laughs> voids a contract. <laughs> so therefore. So which Moors built it? I know Benjamin Banneker did the layout of I Washington, D.C. I said coercion, clear as day, and he talking about slaves. Nobody mentioned no slave. So, so who built the White House? You said Moors did. So they built it out. How were they coerced if they were free? And how come they're not in possession of it? 
same the same way that we are coerced today and join the military and think we defend in the United States of America or any other foreign uh, government. I the accept same. that. I accept Coerc that. Oh, coercion. But it's, it's also known that it's, it's also hurt. known to Haka, it's also known as violating the Lieber Code Bro, in I Article 33. Go on and on is never going to stop. No, if this is about going on and on. So brother I said, bring, I didn't, hey, I didn't brother, ask for this conversation. Somebody. My energy is like this because I hate to see people misled. I'm passionate about, about, about trying to save my people. I hate to see people Who misled. Who are your people, Negroes, Blacks, or Moors? That's it, bro. I mean, I can't. This is never going to end. So, uh, peace be with y'all. If y'all believe that he owned the White House, y'all be peace with that. I'm no good. Ride, no ride. Have a conversation. Hold I got on. things to do, brother. I'm not. This oh, is going to be another. You don't have to it's stay to Haka. I ain't nobody holding you here. No, no. I just what thought. Saying. Listen, when I'm saying, you, brother. Hold on. Out of respect for your one, Hold on. Listen. Butu was the one that told me that you had a question for me and you wanted to talk to me. No, no, no. no. That's, I got the text message right here. Where's my cell phone? Right here. Listen this is what me. he said. No, listen to me. Let me tell you what I said. Let me tell you what I said, brother. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me tell you. Hold on a second. Go ahead. What I said was, I can show and prove that you don't own anything that you said you have. No, that wasn't in the text message. And so Let's I said, this right. Let's I get said, this right. Let's get this right. Have a conversation. I didn't want to join your group. I even told him I didn't want to join your group. I don't want to disturb your well, group. Well, where's Nega? Nega, come on now. I don't want to disturb that was Nega was doing all the talking, not you. Where's Nega? That's come on, Nega, turn your mic on. With you. I could care less about disturbing your group because you know why? I knew that this is going to be another ending conversation that ain't gonna go nowhere. So What's the point of me wasting my time? I'm a busy man. I don't have time to go through back and forth. This, some, this was something for YouTube. No, no, this was Nega did this. Nega's the one who said, I got the text messages right now. Nega said, this is the crest he wants to address. You may quote, you may need to ask him, meaning you, to explain how I exported all Moorish temples. All but you temples must have my permission Nobody has on Turtle Island, and they don't have my permission. As such, they are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, FYI. And I said I will not speak privately to these Black Negroes masquerading as Moors. Any discussions will be in the light of the sun for all eyes to see. You already know this. This is what I said to um, Nega. So where's Nega? Is Taraka, is he still there? Yes, yeah, Where is he? Left. Oh, he left. Up. I don't know. He left. That's what it said. Tahaka left. I saw it. All right, Nega. So that this is what was happening. So you were speaking more so than um Tarhaka was, correct? Yeah, it was just a back and forth text. Text battle looked like. Yeah, because you said you were opening up a temple. So I said, well, what kind of temple are you opening up? And that's why I asked, well, what temple are you opening? And yeah, you never, right. yeah, you never answered that question yesterday. Yeah, that's what I was told, more Science Temple. And, and who told you that? Anu. Oh, Anu? Okay, what happened to Amma? Because every time I've spoken with you, you've mentioned the Dogon... Uh, the normal Amma. Yeah, that was different. Okay, so now you said you spoke with Anu. Okay, and I said, you tell Anu, I said Hotep, and tell Anu, Anu that I need him to settle these claims that I have here on Tiamat. And you never responded to that either. I did respond to you on Facebook. No, no. Why would you respond to me on Facebook when you sent that to me in a text? That's when I got it. Well, I wasn't on Fa I haven't been on Facebook all day, so I've sent yeah. that to you. Oh, yeah, sent that to me through a text. Again, I just got it on Facebook yes. today, and I yes. answered you because you said no, I didn't. I haven't seen yesterday. it on Facebook. You, we spoke on text yesterday. Yes, and you, you kept texting and on and on and on. You didn't give me a chance to answer yesterday, so I just when I saw you. What do you mean? We were texting for over ninety minutes. Can I talk? No, hold on a second. No, I don't want you to listen. We texted for over 90 minutes. 
When you first brought up Am, uh, Anu, I asked the question. And then when you jumped from that back to Tarhaka, I said, what happened to Anu? And you never answered that question. Go ahead. I'm all here. You didn't give me a chance. You kept texting like a, I don't, like a crazy person. You didn't give me a chance to answer. Flattery will get you nowhere because people following some Jesus figure, even Flattery. the Lord from the Moor Science Temple are following a Jesus figure that does not exist. So flattery See, will get you nowhere. I don't follow Jesus. I know exactly who I roll with. And I'm not about to turn against them for nobody. Turn against them who? <laughs> So now you try to <laughs> you keep going with the spook and trying to make me look like I'm crazy. I didn't say that. That came out your mouth. I asked you. Know you, exactly. you said you know exactly. I'm asking. I've been telling you, you this for months, Chief. For no, months, you I've told me you. about no, Amma. Listen, you keep cutting me off. I've been. No, no, I'm listening months. to you. You I said Amma. Go ahead. Me off. Go ahead. I've been telling you for months that I have strong telepathic connection with Amma and Anu. No, I only heard Amma was the only her one. I'm the one that sent you the and picture. You, when I told you, when I gave you a couple of those messages from her, you never responded. I got no, I did. I did no, respond. No, I said, no, Amma is not. male. I and I sent you the message. picture. And I sent you the picture. No, that's the first Amma time. From that was the, the holy first tablet. time. That was the first time. But you no, were no, still. I answered to you saying you like I never answered the question. Off, man. I said, I did. Come on, dude. I thought we was better than this, man. Who's oh, we? Who's the we you're talking you, about? That's what I'm you, asking. You, you and I. I thought we were better than this. You're the one that wanted to be the go-between. Talk and then I talk, right? Not I me. talk and then you talk, right? I'm right? listening. Okay, but you keep cutting me off. How you? How am I cutting you off? Let me talk then, okay? Go ahead. All right. For months I've been telling you about my telepathic connection. And the first time, yes, we did go back and forth with the texting, but I sent you another text message on your phone when I got this new number. And I said, Chief, are you getting this message? Because the rest of my numbers weren't, when I got the, whole, the old phones I had, they weren't, you weren't getting the messages, right? So I got this survey. And I said, Chief, are you getting the message? You said, yes. And I sent you another message from Amma because she didn't like that you were still teaching the same thing about the bloodline even after I asked you. I mean, I told you what she said. And she asked you to take that into consideration. So you didn't listen there. And all of a sudden, when I tell you that Anu said that I am to start my own temple, and then you, you respond. Why is that? I'm just waiting. I don't want to... I don't want to be rude. That's my question. Why is that? Okay. First, with Amma, Amma is male. Amma is not female. If that's what you think, Chief. That's, that, hey, that's your opinion. Now, can I speak? Yeah, but we already had this conversation, and now you're going through it you again. At, you're asking me a question. I'm answering it. You were saying not I'm answering. cutting you off. Not now you're not letting me speak. Amma is a male. It's not answering Can I question. speak? That's an opinion. That's not answering the question. Uh, I am answering the question because I gave you the picture of Amma from the Holy Tablets. And I said, Amma is male. Amma is not female. And I said, I am familiar with the pictures from the Holy Tablets. Correct. But and I, I know left who's it, talking and I, to you. Can I finish? You stop. Appreciate it. So now. After I gave you that picture, I left that. I said, if you want to believe Amma is female when there's a picture from the Holy Tablets that you said you were already familiar with it, I accept that for value and consideration. What's your point? And What's I left point? that I left that alone. I never thought she was male. All the communications, all the point? communications. I never thought she was male. All the communications that we've had, you've only talked about Amma. It wasn't until yesterday you talked about Anu. And so I said, well, if you've got that connection to Anu, tell Anu that I said Hotep and for him to settle these claims that I have here on Tiamat. That's what I said yesterday. And so I said, well, where's Anu coming from? Amma is Dogon or dealing with the Nomos. Anu is Sumerian. 
So I'm like, you can't mix that. <laughs> you can't say, oh, I've, I got telekinetic communications with Ama, and then I'm speaking to Anu. And in chapter three of the Holy Tablets, it talks about the fact that the Nomos used the Dogon. They did not have their best interests. Your point. That is the point. So for that's you to say, belief. I'm opening that's up your, a temple. That's your belief. That's religion. No, that's I don't opinion. believe. I've shown facts here. What's your fact? What are your facts? I just showed facts. The fact is you're holding a certificate for me. Why didn't Alma <laughs> step in before then? Do you, do, you, do you or do you not have a certificate for me for graduating the Atopton Standard Process? What does that have to do with the question I just asked you? Can you what go ahead and answer the question, question, please? You asked me to show proof. I said you're holding a certificate. You got a certificate from me, yes or no? Yes. What does that have to do okay. with Amma being a woman? Now, you said, Amma, that you have communications. Please quote me. Make sure I'm saying this correctly that you are able to communicate telepathically with Amma, correct? Yes. Okay. Can you communicate telepathically? How long have you been doing that with Amma? Answer this question. Can you no, communicate hold on. You're going to answer my question first. How long have you been communicating with Amma? It doesn't matter if you can't, if you can't answer this question. No, then you're not answering the question. answer this question, that question is not Hold on involved. a second. Hold on. We, you're not going to, that's religion to not answer the question. If you, you put it out there, not me. So if you're communicating with a nomos deity, then how many years have you been communicating Nega? Answer the question. Simple. A few years. Okay. Give me a number. Four. Four, actually. Okay. So four years you've been communicating and Ama has been your guide. You've been getting good counsel, et cetera. Correct? Yep. Okay. Why did you come on my webinar to get a certificate from me? Everything happens for a reason. Now, nah, that's not an answer. Why did you come on? Yes, it is. Why did you come on? You don't even know our set was on one of your, one of your when? webinars. You don't even know that the, the real our set that's walking around here in flesh was on one of your webinars. The real our set who? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it because you're dealing with belief, man. You're what dealing with belief? belief? Offset who? Okay. Now, this is, I'm loving this, everybody. This is what I'm talking about. When religious people think they're spiritual than anybody else, you like, if you're talking about Offset from Tamaray, then come with it. Don't say, oh, you don't know she was walking around here. The answer, you ain't telling me nothing new, nigga. I've been on Tamaray. Masters was down there walking around. You ain't telling me nothing new. You were the one that was speaking more than Tarhaka. And I want people to know the conversation was going on with Nega in Butu Bay more so than Tarhaka. So now tell everybody, Nega, that you're working with Tarhaka to open up a temple and he's showing you how to open a temple up because that's what you sent me in the text message. See, these are the things that religious people are not going to tell you all. This is people who are so spiritual, they're more spiritual than spiritual. So again, <laughs> the whole point of the matter was why is Tarhaka so I said, if he's busy, then we'll do it another time. I was like, no, I don't want to talk with him. And he can't be busy between now and New Year's. So I give Tarhaka definitely an A for coming out. He did way better than, uh, what's his name? Sara Sutinsetti. And these are the type of things. So when these type of things occur, this is how I know we're on our way to something significant. So for nigga to say, I'm dealing in belief, that is somebody that's religious.